All right, guys, it's me, it's a tycoon, coming back to you with another review. And this is of Outlaw, Johnny Black, from the guys that brought you Black Dynamite. That is, of course, Michael Jai White and Byron Mint. This movie is pretty good, but if you're expecting the same sort of level of comedy as you got with Black Dynamite, it's... <sighs> In part, you will have a lot of it. Uh, definitely the same sort of sense of humour. It's just that sometimes the jokes and the references may not land as as well as they did with Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite spawned an amazing, uh, you know, animated series as well. Uh, I don't think Outlaw Johnny Black is going to do anything like that. Uh, so, just in the same sort of vein as Black Dynamite, it takes all the tropes out of the Western movies and brings it all together in one massive hit. The Outlaw, you know, the Outlaw who came from a, a very good reverend family uh, who had his family killed by a, another outlaw. So he's out there looking for revenge. He takes on the uh, mantle of a pastor, um, you know, the Native Americans and all the rest of that sort of stuff, as well as the big bad, well, two of the big bads out there, one who's looking to grab land because of oil and the other one who's just basically a psychopath and wants to kill everyone. But this movie was actually really funny um, and had some very, very good jokes that did land very, you know, that landed really well. Unfortunately, it just, <sighs> there is an issue with this film. I don't know what, where to put my finger on it. I think what, what it should have been was a bit more punchy, a bit more tired, a bit more faster paced. Um, it just felt a little bit long in places. That's all. Um, but I will admit, there are some, you know, Tommy Davidson, seeing him back in the saddle again and doing his, his comedy role was really good fun. Um, I think with Outlaw Johnny Black himself, just the jokes that he could have done, there wasn't enough of it. That's that's what I'm going to... Yeah, that's what I think is the issue. There wasn't enough of his jokes. Byron Minns, um, you're expecting bullhorn. But you get a, a pastor or a deacon, deacon, deacon. All three of his name is Deacon. Yeah, actually, you know, if you watch the movie, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, action set pieces were really good. You know, as always, Michael Jai White is going to deliver on his martial arts roles. And um, took a bit of influence from Enter the Dragon as well, which was actually <laughs> it was quite funny seeing it in the end. And... Of course, a little bit of Blazing Saddles, where, you know, they're standing there. Then all of a sudden, in the next shot, it's the same shot. They somehow pull out a bunch of beers and start having it as a whole townsfolk. They haven't moved anywhere or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's random, it's funny. It should have been more like that. Um, and of course, the, the, the sort of love interests and all the rest of it. Even the big bad guy. Uh, who wants to steal, you know, the, the wealth from the town. <laughs> he can't read. And the, the sheriff pulls him up on it. <laughs> you know, here you go, read this. And he can't, let me read it for you. That kind of thing. It's it's funny, but again, there wasn't enough of it. And there was, you know, it, it was a little bit out of balance at times. I think that's the best way of putting Outlaw Johnny Black. You know, you, you've got some very good acting. There's no denying that. You've got people like, um, oh God, what's his name? Um, Uncle Ruckus, no relation. The the guy who voices Uncle Ruckus, no relation in it. Uh, <laughs> he, he does some parts of still the show. Um, but, you know, it's just not enough. Um, and I think that's where the movie is going to suffer a bit. It could have had more on the action side. It could have had more on the gunfighting side. It could have had more. But again, it's two hours long. I think it wasn't lightning strike twice. I think that's that's where it is. It's his own movie. Michael Jai White is doing what he, can, what he does. And he does it really well. Everyone else is doing what they can. And they're doing it really well. But something is just not landing. And I think what it was is the punchiness behind it. You know? It was it lingered a little bit too long, and cut it down by fifteen minutes. Make it a bit more tired, a bit more faster. You know, get to the point. You would enjoy it. 
but it was a pretty solid movie. I mean, a lot of people will give it a rating of maybe 6 or 7 out of 10. Um, all I'll say is, as always, if you're watching this on TikTok, YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, wherever you're watching this, let me know in the comments what you think. And always, give me a like, give me a follow, give me a subscribe, let me know. And if you don't know how to do that, you need to go back to school. So says the tycoon.